it's not nothing nice. So, one, two, three. Here, <laughs> fire that jab. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work what's called a basic T drill. One of the hardest things to do is to learn how to hit basic combinations even when you're mobile and you're on the move. Okay? So we're going to begin, we're going to work on a T. And we're going to hit jab, jab, cross, forward. Then double jab, cross, going backward. Then we're going to go double jab, jab, cross, moving to one side. Double jab, cross, moving to the other. Now the one thing that we're going to add to this is we're not going to hold our hands here. What we're going to do is we're going to roll our shoulders forward. We're going to place our open palms on the crown of our forehead. This is called the shampoo stent. Okay? Some of the people that have beautiful hair here might not want to do that. But the object is lay them on the bridge of your head because a 45 degree angle is going to be your strongest structure that you can use to manipulate punches. Okay? So, everybody's going to line up and make as many lines as we need to. And we're going to move forward with a basic jab, jab, cross. Notice I always use double jab. The reason why is because if I'm saying jab, cross, come here, Jimmy. Jimmy's a little bit taller than me. That means if I can hit him with jab, cross without having to move, that also means that he can hit me because we're at equal distance. Does that make sense to everybody here? A lot of times when we've used mitts in the past, especially with our training partners versus our coaches, what happens is I go like this. One, two, three, four. Right? He never has to move. It's not a realistic opponent. A lot of camps in Thailand use more pads than they actually do sparring because the object of pads is when you have an experienced partner, that should literally simulate almost total sparring. So, I want him to have to reach for me, one, one, two. Does that make sense? Versus just going one, two, where he doesn't have to move. If I say double jab, that presupposes that we're at a distance, like when we go ding, ding, that I have to, I can't reach him yet, and he cannot yet reach me, effectively. So, it takes probing, setups, footwork, moving. Okay, so, basic T drill goes one, one, two. Notice my elbows are in. Shoulders forward. Then I'm going to move backwards. One, one, two. Hips stay square. I'm going to move to the left. One, one, two. Notice my hips stay square. And then to the other side. One, one, two. One, one, two. At every point in the T, I'm pivoting and kicking that right foot back. Because there's nothing more beautiful than your opponent thinking he has an upper hand and walking straight into that right cross as he's coming in. Sounds easy, but we'll see how many people's feet get confused when they start moving on the team. So, everybody line up. We're going to go forward, back, side, side. And then right back to your fighting stance. When your palms are in your head in the shampoo stance, you should be, your eyes should be forward and your chin should still be tough. 